Rice is one of the most planted and produced crops in the Philippines and many Filipinos realize on planting rice as their source of income and it is considered as major industry in the country. Yet, there are factors limiting the production of milled palay such as climate change, growing population, declining land area, high cost of inputs, inadequate irrigation facilities, and the mishaps in post-harvest handling of palay grace in which one of these factors is drying. In this very reason, the researcher came into an idea of designing and creating a localized palay dryer that matches the drying capabilities of existing palay dryer in the market but with a greater convenience in operation. This study will benefit the farmers, small to medium-sized rice cooperatives, local manufacturing industry, consumers, as well as future researchers. The inclined irreversible pallet dryer is constructed using 70 by 15 inches galvanized iron sheet, 36 by 14 inches metal screen, 850 watts blower with heater, 15 inches electrical wire and different tools. It is composed of different parts assembled together such as the input and output side, the blower house, inclined pallet bed and the base. It is tested on its drying capability using four different setups having different drying time and fixed drying temperature. Operational is cost effectiveness of drying. As the results is discussed, it is barely seen that the setup 2 which has a drying time of 1 hour in a fixed temperature closely meet the target of 2% to 3% moisture reduction. It also showed that setup 4 which is a drying time of 3 hours in a fixed temperature has the most moisture loss among the 4 setups. Thus, the drying time is proportional to the moisture loss of palay. With regards to the study of Abun J. et al., the drying rate was 1% reduction per hour, and it is shown that the drying rate for flatbed dryer is 0.74 pesos in 1 hour. In the table 1, it showed that in just 1 hour, it obtained a 3.2% moisture reduction in using inclined irreversible pallet dryer. In order to get the drying cost of inclined irreversible pallet dryer, 0.74 pesos must be divided by 3.2 which obtained the 0.23 pesos. By getting the mean of each question and the total mean of the whole questionnaire, it can be seen that the farmers strongly agreed that the inclined irreversible pallet dryer it's easy to operate because of having a total mean score of 3.51. The researcher concluded that the inclined irreversible pallet dryer is comparable in terms of drying capability of the existing pallet dryer in the market. A drying time of 1 hour in a range of 50 to 55 degrees Celsius temperature can closely meet the target of 2% to 3% moisture reduction of palay. It can be also inferred that the drying time is proportional to the moisture loss of palay. It can also be seen that the inclined irreversible palay dryer is easy to operate having a total mean for the whole questionnaire of 3.51 out of 4. Lastly, the cost effectiveness, specifically in the cost of drying, it is clearly seen that it is less expensive than the commercialized cost of drying with about 0.51 pesos differential cost. Therefore, the inclined irreversible pallet dryer can be a substitute to the existing mechanical dryers, whereas it is an efficient pallet dryer in terms of time of drying, cost effectiveness, the operational easiness of the product. For further improvements of the study, the researcher recommends that, in drying the pallet using mechanical dryer, the thickness of the pallet to dry must be increased. In testing the pallet dryer's capability, Try to manipulate the temperature in drying the palay instead of time of drying. For testing the dryer's capability in drying palay, try to use new harvested palay. In constructing the dryer, try to construct a larger one so you can increase the amount of the sample. For developing a new product, try to use the other method to heat providing like using the traditional rice husk furnace.